All right, Laura, thank you. In Commitment 2014, polls suggest today's election could be a good one for Republicans who are expected to pick up seats in both the House and Senate. Political analyst Mark Sandalo joins us live from Washington to help break this down. And Mark, this has been the most expensive midterm campaign in American history. How has money shaped this election? If you look at the polls, it hasn't done all that much, and that the polls are about the same before. The $4 billion, which is being spent nationally, was spent as they are today. Uh, but what it does do is it changes the tenor of the campaign. What do people spend this money on? They spend it on TV ads, typically trying to attack their opponent. What's interesting is they're not going for the middle votes here. What these TV ads are fired up to do is to get their base to churn out. If you look at what happens in a place like, say, Australia, where everyone has to vote, or otherwise you're fined, the candidates don't go after their base because they know they have to turn up anyways. So the candidates fight for the middle votes thinking they want to convince them one way or another. Money's not as critical to do that. So in the states, what happens is, you know, it may well be that, uh, it may well be the prior and cotton have the same number of supporters. Whoever gets more of them to turn up is going to win the election. And Mark, traditionally during midterms, the president's party tends to lose seats. So do you think that will be the case for a governor race here in Arkansas? Uh, it, it, it certainly looks uh, pretty grim for the Democrats nationally. And it's interesting. Governors across the country, Democratic governors, are likely in trouble right now. If you want to voice a protest, you could voice it against either party, but typically it goes against the president's party. So, so, so indeed, the Democrats are in trouble as far as that goes. Arkansas has pretty low voter turnout in general. So once again, it's all a matter of which side gets more of their people to the polls. All right, Mark Sandalo joining us from our Washington, D.C. Bureau. Thanks, Mark.